I don't know about you, but some days I'm in the optimal state to solve a problem and other days it's just not going to happen. And that's because problem solving involves key skills and it's not just something simple and clear cut. Developing good problem solving skills involves part of it is generating unique ideas and solutions to actually work out how to solve the thing. Problems can be really complex or they could be really easy. Some things you get an idea straight away and you can resolve it. Others, if you think about it, you have to actually persist through multiple kind of solutions and ideas until you get to the right one and you solve the problem. So problem solving, problem solving can be really challenging at times. Part of problem solving is actually identifying that there is a problem. So you have to identify the problem, outline it and understand how it originated and why. So before you get into solving and getting a solution, you need to actually understand what the problem is. And then through solving the problem, you have to break it down into smaller parts and, you know, brainstorm, think about what's going on, find ideas and then solutions and solve the problem. So this can be long winded and at times boring or maybe exciting. What are some challenges that can arise here? So at times we just don't persist, we give up. If we persist through and find strategies, that's where we solve the problem. If we're not in the right mood or headspace, we give up because maybe some attempts don't work and we just don't want to do it anymore. Sometimes there can be conflict and maybe we can't actually sort out the conflict or what to do even in things like a complicated social situation because problems aren't all about spreadsheets and work and documents. They're family, kids, friends, all sorts of things. And at times we just don't know how to break apart the problem into smaller parts. So problems can occur in many areas of your life and depending on the day that you're having, the all areas of your executive functions, whether it be controlling emotions or your working memory, Lots of things come up when you need to persist and solve a problem. So if you're just not in the right headspace or you can't fix or solve something, check in with yourself and think about what's going on with me today. And maybe I should persist more or maybe I should stop and do this at a later stage. Learning about yourself can help you understand why you're not solving a problem and what's arising for you.